Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about data structures. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, my friend said that I should not use languages like Java or C Sharp to learn data structures and algorithms, as this will teach me bad coding practices. What does he mean by that? Well, depending on what he means, he's either sort of right or he's full of shit and doesn't know the first thing about how to implement a data structure or an algorithm. Let me explain that a little bit. So, C -sar the fact that stating something like data structures and algorithms can't be implemented in C, -sar C Sharp and Java is absolute bullcrap. It is more bullcrap than I've ever heard in my entire life. Most of the data structures that you could possibly find or even the, I mean, let's just talk data structures first and foremost, like what, what is not, I mean, every single programming language under the sun is going to need some of the most basic data structures to be useful to a programmer. Because the thing is, guys, we don't have time to re like create our own implementations of hash maps or lists or stacks or linked lists all the time. We make need someone to do it once and then do it really, really well so that we can consume that. That doesn't mean that just because someone did it that we can't reinvent it ourselves. Because as you can probably imagine, if someone did it, once and it's part of the standard library and the like the thing that you actually use in order to do your work well if you click that if you shift click into that fucking thing you're going to see the source code i mean you don't copy paste it if you're going to learn how to how it works but you could use it for inspiration and then make your own version Ta -da! so if your friend is saying that using something like C Sharp and Java is bad for learning data structures and algorithm, I will just say that there is nothing stopping you from creating practically any anything that you want with those with those tools. The thing that might be the perspective here, which is sort of correct, is that if you are looking to squeeze the living shit out of every single clock cycle on your CPU and learn the absolute fastest way of creating a algorithm or an implementation of a data structure or something like that, you will most likely be better off using something like C or C++, similar sort of languages, where you have certain constructs and lower level concepts part of your, your toolbox. And in that environment, you could in theory create some data structures and some very performance solutions depending on how f I mean it all depends like how far down the rabbit hole are you going to go if you're on because guys the for most of you using literally any programming language especially Java and C sharp considering that they are by among the biggest languages there is in both like in Java especially in like the education system and so forth uh, you can implement practically any data structure and algorithm that is good you're going to find on any tests most of them at the very least at the uh, at the very least the basic to intermediate intermediate uh, intermediary level or uh, in school and so forth and i can promise you uh, all of them are going to be possible to make as part of a coding interview and something like that and here's the kicker guys once you realize that data structures and algorithms the basics that's usually well, that's what that's where most of the developers stop knowing the basics is what will get you the job and then once you're inside you most of us like they we don't spend all our time learning even higher concepts within the within the more famous algorithms and the data structures and so forth. Like we're talking about learning the basics about data structures and understanding algorithms that so solve certain problems is, it's almost, I, I will even go as far as to say that for the vast majority, is, I mean, if you're doing web, for example, unless you are in the com data, like the computer science space and you really are hired to solve highly complicated algorithmic problems, most of you, if you're going to do corporate level development or like web development, it's more of a prerequisite. It's literally like uh, if you want to be anything, sometimes you have these courses where like, you don't really use them in your daily job. You don't really use them. 
they are sort of relevant and it's, they're more around to prove that you have gone through the process of learning the thing so that you can actually get the job. It's like gathering enough credit from your education so that you're applicable to apply for the next, for like for a job or something like that. It's just, it's, I'm not saying a formality because the, knowing this stuff, it is important and it does make a difference but it's not such a big deal that you can't survive without it there are plenty of developers like i would even go as far as to say that quite a lot of, of developers are not masters of data structures and algorithms the really enthusiastic ones and the ones who are very academically inclined go uh, really go into this and in some cases you will have to know these sorts of things especially i mean especially if you want to work at say google or facebook and so forth where they're sort of famous for making sure that you know this stuff but how you implement it you can implement it in any language it's like uh, Java and C Sharp are fully capable of implementing practically any algorithm and practically any data structure that you could possibly want. Because if they had not been able to do that, well, they're not really all that useful to the vast, like, as a general purpose programming languages now, are they? So, what I want you to take away from this is that uh, your friend either has a very, like, even a slight, like, I would say, he's leaving he or she is leaving some information out it is true that if you want to really performance optimize an algorithm or a data structure it, making it in a language such as, such as say c would be a very good choice but to state something as that you can't really that it's going to be an anti pattern it's going to be bad for your learning to use java or c sharp is complete bullshit complete and utter bullshit Anything that you could possibly need in order to pass practically any exam, unless we're talking like really high level stuff, and any type of code interview that you could possibly go through, even at Google, will be possible to learn through Java and C Sharp. And practically most of the languages will be, able, like quite a lot of the languages, will be able to teach you this sort of stuff. Because most of the data structures and algorithms that are part of the normal process are actually in these languages. So if you want to learn how they work in the like the most advanced, uh, well, the way that at the very least the good people who created these languages and did it, go and look at the source code for your linked lists and your hash maps and what have you, because they're all there in the standard libraries of the language. Have a great day.